You will not get a fatwa from the mufti that this is haram. Much less to get a fatwa from the mufti that this is riba. Hmm? How is it taking place? They started with gold, paper being redeemable in gold. And then came 1933, when we should have woken up to see their game. But we didn't wake up. So in 1944, at the end of the First War, First Second World War, they now, they now uh, consolidated the system in the creation of an international monetary system now. Consolidated. The new international monetary system emerges out of the Bretton Woods Agreement in upstate New York. Every Darul Ulum should make it obligatory for the student to study the Bretton Woods Accord. Hmm? You must study the Bretton Woods Accord to understand monetary economics today so you can understand the subject of riba. Is it taught in the Darul Ulum? No, it's not. At Bretton Woods, what did they do? They said, no longer will paper be redeemable in gold. Only one paper will be chosen to be redeemable in gold. All the rest will not. The one paper which was chosen was the US dollar. So the US dollar will be redeemable in gold but not sterling pound, and not Pakistani rupee, and not Indonesian rupee, not Australian dollar, no, only one. So this is a major blow to the integrity of money. The second thing that they did was to declare that the only people who could come to Uncle Sam to redeem their paper for gold are governments. You and I can't do it only governments, only central banks. So now the entire system has lost 99% of its integrity. It has only 1% left of integrity, but those fellows are still eating halwa. 1% integrity left. That governments, central banks can go to Uncle Sam with their US dollars and demand the gold. Nobody did. From 1944 to 1971, nobody did. The Vietnam War took place in the late 60s, and Uncle Sam printed a lot of paper, a lot of paper, to finance the war. And Uncle Sam didn't have the gold to back that paper. At Bretton Woods, they had fixed the price of gold at $35 an ounce. Fixed. It, did, it is there in the Bretton Woods Accord. Uncle Sam didn't have the gold <laughs> to back all that paper. So in September 1971, the British government came in one Friday evening, perhaps, with three billion US dollars and said, Uncle Sam, we want the gold. Uncle Sam knew that the game was up. The game was up. Because come Monday morning, guess who is going to be at the front of the line? Saudi Arabia? Well, who behind Saudi Arabia? Kuwait? Huh? And a whole long line of people, of government, central banks, we want the gold. So Richard Nixon retired to Camp David, and then on Sunday he had addressed the American people, and we said, he said, we gave our word, but we don't have to keep our word. We gave our word, but we don't have to keep our word. We will no longer honor our obligation under under uh, um, Bretton Woods to redeem paper for gold from central banks. And so since September 1971, this may be news for some of you who have been needing halwa. Since September 1971, there is no legal link between paper and gold. It's gone. Now all that they have to do, those who want to rule the world, <laughs> All that they have to do